This is my intro song because all the songs in the world are copyrighted. And this is my page. It's called Out of Range. And here's my ugly face. And I gotta go. That's my song. Oh, much better. Good morning, good morning. I think that was a Viagra commercial. <laughs> edit. Okay. Good morning. Now, you know what? I'm not going to edit that. I'm going to start with a Viagra commercial this morning. Uh, day 32. 32 days. Um, yeah, I woke up, uh, I'm, I'm lazing around this morning. It's like nine o'clock. I'm still sitting here drinking coffee. I did do some chores. I uh, washed the dishes. I washed myself and, uh, I've been working away at uh, Tegan's stick here. I, I'm getting a little out of control with this thing. I got so many ideas. Uh, yeah, so I started burning. I started burning the letters like I was telling you I was going to do. But it was taking so long to heat the nail that I'll have to wait. Like, I can't just burn propane. So when I'm using, when I'm cooking or, or making coffee, that's when I'll take advantage of heating the nail. It took a long time. I think the next time I try, I'm going to try heating up a butter knife. You guys know what I'm talking about, remember? Butter knives used to get really red. So I'm thinking maybe the butter knife will get hot f red faster and... Uh, We'll try and do it with a butter knife. It'll be easier to hold, too. With the nail, I had to hold it with pliers. It's really hard to hold. Then I decided to carve a fucking heart in there in the back. I don't know if you guys could see this. When I was checking the footage yesterday, some shots you could see, some you don't. I put a heart in the back. Now, what I'm going to do is the next time we clean something bloody, next time we have access to blood, I'm going to uh, die inside here with some blood. And we're not going to tell Tegan. She's going to have to watch this episode to find out that there's actual blood in her uh, birthday present. So I might do the heart and I might do these two bands. Okay. Burn her name. 
And then let me let me just tell you what I got so far. Then you see how I cut these bands here? Well, I'm going to do a big one right here. And we're going to put a rope handle. Rope handle. And then on the top, tell me if I'm going too far. On the top, uh, I was thinking of putting a rabbit fur, like a furry, pet to furry uh, pet fur. Um, the very first rabbit we uh, got here weeks ago, uh, I never filmed this or told anybody, but when we were kids, my dad used to, uh, when he'd get a rabbit he w or a partridge, he would uh, dry him out with salt. You could salt it and whatever. Well, I did that with a piece of fur. I don't know. You guys probably noticed it's up on the knee. Sorry. There. So I dried it with salt and then the back was brittle. So I soaked it uh, in uh, laundry detergent for like a day. I got it. I stretched it out, dried it in salt, soaked it, dried it in salt. And now uh, it kind of seems like it's, it's pretty good and it smells fantastic. So I was thinking, to get back to what I was saying, after the rope handle here, maybe wrap some fur here. Some rabbit fur, actual rabbit fur, okay? So rabbit fur, that, blood, burning blood. Then I was thinking, you're probably wondering why this elastic is here. Like, I'm not good at drawing, obviously. Look at the fucking heart in these letters. I'm not artistic. Tegan's the artist. So I was using the elastic to make a, a perfect line, you know? So, and then I thought, what if I grab a piece of string or rope, right? And start here and curl it around like a snake all the way down here, right? And then trace that. And then do the opposite counterclockwise, trace that. Then we'd have like a like a spiral design down here. Now, that's a lot of work. Like that's an insane amount of work. But I think I might do it. Why not? Why not? It's arts and crafts. Um, I, I wanna get to that cooksa too. Remember we were gonna make a cooks out of that birch button. I'm going to work on this because, like I said, I'm real close to going home soon. And I want to make sure this is done because I'm not going to sit in my living room and whittle fucking sticks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what else do we have to do? We, we're going to go check the uh, snare real quick today. After that, there's nothing we have to do. Oh, yes. We're out of water. So we got to start melting snow. Uh, I have an idea for that. We're going to use some jugs. and, Anyways, when I get to that, we'll do that. And uh, basically, we'll get on our way here. But I'm going to spend most of the day working on this. So this might be a two-day episode. I'm going to stop rambling. And uh, I'm going to keep going. Okay? Okay, bye. So a little update, looks like today is uh, I'm not doing F all, <laughs> it's almost noon. I've just been plugging away at this uh, this walking stick. So I carved out uh, where the uh, rope handle is going to go, make it a little more aerodynamic or ergonomic. And uh, we're going to make a rope handle on there. Uh, we're going to burn when we use the stove so we don't waste propane. I carved out that little, little heart. I uh, put my initial and the date so she doesn't forget when and who. And uh, oh, I added another band at the bottom here. And I cut it a little shorter because she's a little shorter than me. And then, I don't know if you could see this, I made like a little uh, bottle cap, little bottle cap end on it. And uh, I think I'm going to try and just like uh, singe it a little bit. But before I do that, the little bit that I cut off, I. Uh, recreated that so i'll try it on this first in case it fucks it up i don't want to fuck it up put a lot of work into this and then also um i cut out a little bit on this test piece so that when we find some blood we'll put some blood on there and see if it seeps in and, and stays and uh that's where we're at
at some point I'm gonna have to go outside I'd, I'd like to go check that snare but uh, so far arts and crafts day um, I'm gonna show you actually let's do this fucking knot here so I'm gonna burn the end on this just so it's pretty remember if they're frayed you just burn them and always what lick your fingers Okay, we can trim that up after. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. It's going to take me a while, so I'll just show you real quick. So this knot here, you double it up. Okay. Actually, well, I'll do a little short one. So that, and then you can just uh, not watch me do the whole thing. So you double it up. I hope you can see. When you get to the bottom here, you start winding. Obviously, I'm going to take a little bit more time and make it all perfect. Okay. Then once you're winded all the way to the end, you're going to take that loose end and put it through. Uh, again, I cut big, long ropes for demonstrations. Not smart. Oh, well, we're going to pull it all the way through just so you can see. Come on. I'm gonna edit this so it doesn't look like it's fucking taking me that long okay uh, I made the loop a little long there but you would keep going then when you're done you kind of pull that you pull that loop through okay and that gives you a nice tight binding okay so that's how we're gonna make the rope handle so I'm gonna do the real one now and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done are having a party out there probably after my fish guts okay so you pulled the end through that loop right then you go back to this end and you got to kind of pull this through I'm gonna grab a pair of pliers just because my hands hurt so bad I've been carving my ass off today so we're gonna grab this end so I don't know if you guys could see that. There you go, guys. Boon rope handle. Okay. There you go, Tiggy. Now, uh, after I cut these, I'm probably gonna put a little bit of uh, pine pitch glue once we make some. I'm just gonna tuck that in there, put a little water of pine pitch. Same up here. Just tuck that in there, a little bit of pine pitch. And uh, that should be pretty good. Uh, feels good. Feels pretty good. All right, I should probably go outside at some point. We're gonna go, uh, I'm gonna get dressed. We'll go check our snares. But uh, we got that handle on. The uh, rope handle, and this is what I'm thinking next. <laughs> Probably a little bit too much, but I'm thinking something like that, you know? Obviously, the top is there somewhere. But what do you think? You guys remember Gangs of New York? The Dead Rabbits? I think that's badass. I'm doing it. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go check our snares real quick. Beautiful mild day, but uh, windy as shit. Our uh, our TP smoker uh, ice hut fishing cabin is uh, got blown over. It's pretty windy. Oh well, I'm gonna go check those snares, guys. Nah, it's unbelievable. 
Look at all these rocks starting to poke through again. Rocks, logs. Fuck, man. No snow in like two weeks. And it, like, snow's actually melting and shrinking and disappearing. Not that it's hot weather, like, uh, but snow does melt. It like, it like packs down. So now every fucking rock in this fucking trail is exposed. And uh, that's not gonna be good for me having to tow a fucking snowmobile out of here, you know? So we might have to spend a day coming and fucking shoveling snow on every fucking rock for fucking the whole trail, you know? I wouldn't expect somebody, to, one of my friends to come tow me out and have to fucking bounce off all of these rocks. So we might have to take a day and do some repairs. My, uh, my old timer friend yesterday said they were calling for 10 centimeters today. Uh huh. <sighs> Unsuccessful. Guess what, guys? Whew. That snare we put yesterday, as successful. Oh, two days in a row of success, guys. Pretty happy. Now, uh, I'm gonna pull the snares. I think we have fucking six or seven, uh, six or seven in the cooler now, so that's lots. We'll bring them home and, uh, there is a lot of poopy here we can pick up for our uh, for our uh, pitch glue. So that's good. All right. Okay, get this guy cleaned up. We're gonna eat this guy tonight. Fresh. And, uh, while I was cleaning him, remember I was just complaining about no snow, beautiful sunny day. As I was cleaning, I could feel the wind shift and like a cool breeze coming through my sweater. And it went from it went from that beautiful stuff to that's what's coming now. So maybe we will get some snow tonight, guys. So we'll have to uh, make sure everything's picked up. Don't want to bury nothing. Okay, check out my anvil. <laughs> that thing's been through some shit. That thing's been pounding fucking logs for a while. There ain't much left, but we're gonna keep using it.
videos. Dummy. Those are not your blue gloves. Chores are pretty much done. Hey, I'm up here. Eyes up here, ladies. Eyes up here, ladies. Um, chores are pretty much all done. I'm gonna finish bringing this firewood in. Then we'll slap that uh, that rabbit on the stove. Actually, before we get to that, remember our little test piece? That rabbit we just cleaned. I uh, collected some blood, so. And we're gonna try and uh, stain this wood here and see if that works. I don't think it's gonna work, but it might end up looking pink, you know? Now, oh yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. A paintbrush. All right, this might be a little bit gross for you guys, so I'll paint it and then I'll show you. All right, so as I, su as I suspected, it kind of just turned pink, you know? I need a couple of coats. <laughs> couple of coats of blood. Oh well, it's not, it's, it's red. I think I'm gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it. All right guys, this is what I got. You might think it's fucking gross, but I think it looks pretty fucking awesome. I did the three rings. I hope you could see that. I did the three rings and uh, a real fucking bloody heart, buds. She probably hate this fucking thing. <laughs> She's probably gonna hate this thing. She'll think it's fucking gross. But I'm doing it anyways. This is what I gotta give you, bud. This is what I got for you. This is what I've done. If you don't like it, fucking throw it up. I don't care. I think it's fucking badass. All right, sorry about the uh, lantern, but you guys know lighting, lighting is shit. So we got this fresh rabbit. I'm just gonna coat it a little bit in flour. We're gonna sear it, and then we're just gonna throw it in a Dutch oven for the rest of the day with some onions and some fun stuff, okay? I hope you guys can see. I don't know how much fucking flour it needs, but I'm about to make a mess. having a hard time with Ziplocs today, man. Just before I turned the camera on, I was fucking swearing at that fucking bag of flour. There it is, okay. So just a light dusting of flour. And then we're just gonna sear these pieces up real quick. Okay. Need more flour. Rib cage never fits, and we don't really care about it. It's just for flavor, right? Those are the important bits, right there. Right there. That's the important bits. Okay. So, like I said, we're just gonna brown those up. Throw them in a the Dutch oven. A little bit of uh, water, soup base, onions. And then we're just gonna let it sit on the stove all damn day. Okay.
Okay. Okay, so hear me out. So I got this emergency sewing kit for some reason in one of my bins for sewing. Now hear me out. So if we take the top of the stick and we take this uh, rabbit piece of rabbit pelt and we uh, get it just right, you know what I'm saying? We get it just right and we reverse sew it. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. We reverse sew it, right? And then we flip it inside out and slide it on like a furry condom and then trim it real nice and then it'll have like a like a beautiful like a beautiful furry top to it yeah okay so these sewing kits that's for little tiny fucking baby girl hands doesn't work for my hands so anyways, I thought, fuck it, I'll use fishing line, right? But then it took me fucking... I won't even fucking tell you how long it took me to get that in there. Oh, and I just pulled it out like an idiot. Oh, no, I didn't. All right, so we have the world's tiniest fucking baby needle in the world and some fucking eight pound tests. <laughs> We're gonna try and sew some shit. I gotta do this because I can't see. I have some sincere doubts as to whether this is going to work, guys. Oh, right there. Like, I just feel like this is a just not something I should be trying. You know? Like, this is out of my wheelhouse, you know? I uh, poked my finger fucking three times already. Right? So, obviously, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But we're going to keep going. Never know. Uh, so I got it all sewed up. But I realized I can't flip it inside out without tearing it or ripping it. It's pretty thin. So we're going to uh, soak it in uh, water and laundry detergent again. It'll just make it smell better. And uh, it'll get the... Uh, it'll make it more elastic. I'll be able to flip it through. And then I'll salt it again and then slide it on. Do do? Sewing sucked! Flip, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Made ourselves a little furry condom, guys. Can't believe that worked. All right, we're gonna salt that inside again, let it dry out and slap it on there. Okay guys, thought I'd give you a little little update on dinner. Um, it's only like 4.30, but today's pretty much a wrap for me. There's not much else I can do with that stick until uh, the fur dries and we use the stove so I can burn, uh, burn in the letters. So that's done. Uh, a little too late to go fishing. So I'll give you a little update on supper. Let me just uh, pull the lid off and uh, get you some lights. So that's what we got. So simmering nicely. Um, I'm probably just going to leave that just like that for quite a few more hours. And then I'll grab a fork and try to shred, try to shred the meat off. And then that, uh, you could see that, that putting the, um, fuck, what's the word I'm looking for? Searing it with the flour on it makes almost like a thicker gravy in there. 
right? So I'm going to let that fucking boil down until it's nice and thick. Maybe shred away at the meat. And then I'm just going to make uh, rice and like drop that shredded gravy-like rabbit slop on top of it. And it's going to be fucking delicious. So that'll be it for a while. I'm going to uh, have a couple of beers. They're going quick, man. I think I'm down to like fucking seven or eight left. Fuck. But we have about uh, just over a half bottle of whiskey too. So I'm just going to chill, have a couple of drinks, and uh, I'll come back on when that's ready and give you my deuce goodnight fucking speech. And uh, that'll be it. Okay. 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 Update time. Things are starting to disintegrate. Let me just show you what's happening here. I hope you can see. I know the lighting is shit. But you see how that's fucking falling apart from the bone here? Yeah, buddy. That's what we want. We're going to make like a like a shredded... Uh, what do you call that? Like a pulled pork. But pulled, pulled bunnies. I'm going to drop that on a bed of rice, buds. You don't even know. You don't even know. If you don't eat wild game regularly... You don't know what living is. You just don't. No! Mm. 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 Anyways, we're going to go a little longer. And then uh, I might pick out some of the bigger bones, right? Pick out the bigger ones and uh, just slop that down onto a plate and fucking love it. Love every minute of it. That's my update. Update number two. I know the lighting is shit. But that blood worked perfectly, right? And look at that fucking bunny up there. She's getting fluffy. We're going to trim the top, right? It's a little too long up there. Fuck. It's hard to know what, it's hard to know what the camera's looking at. We're going to trim the top. But look at that. Look at that fluffiness. Yeah, buddy. Tell me you wouldn't want to fucking walk through the forest with that. Let people know you're fucking coming. Listen, fuckers, I'm coming through. And I have dead fucking animals on my stick. You want to fuck with me? Let's go. And hearts. That's for you, Teague. Love you. Okay, guys, it's, it's time. It's time. So we made rice. While we were making rice, we were able to get the butter knife nice and hot. We got the G done and part of the A, T-E-G. All we got is the A and the N left. We'd probably be able to do that tomorrow morning when we make coffee. So that's the, that's fucking progressing, right? Now, let me just fucking show you what I'm up to here. And you guys are like, what is this guy fucking doing, you know? Like, what is he doing? Well, I'm going to fucking show you what I'm doing, guys. And I might sound really stupid right now because, uh, you know, I played with a bottle of uh, 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 whiskey. Whiskey. So tomorrow, I'll be panicking about how we're out of, almost out of beer and whiskey. These are, that's hot as shit. That's probably going to burn the plate. But I'm going to get every single grain of rice out of this pot. Did I burn it? Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. Like I was saying, let me show you what's up here, guys. Let me show you what I'm up to. Are you ready for this? Watch this. I pulled some bones out. There's still going to be a lot of bones, but look at this. Look at this stuff right here. You see this gold? Look at this. That is rabbit gold. Oh my god. That's a rabbit ragu, guys. Rabbit ragu is what I made. I didn't know I was making rabbit ragu till it was made. But we made rabbit ragu. Okay? So that's what's happening. And as soon as I'm done scooping, I'm going to turn this off, put you on the tripod, and say my ganites. Look at that, guys. Rabbit ragu on a bed of rice. I bet you wish you were me right now. Just saying. Okay, guys. That is a wrap on day 32. I'm going to... I'm going to... That's a wrap on day 32. I'm going to devour this rabbit stew.
Hear me. I'm spitting lyrics. <laughs> Fucking spitting lyrics. Spitting fire, guys. Mm hmm. No, that's gross. Don't do that. Don't go trap your own wild game and slow cook that shit and lay it on a bed of rice. Don't do it. It's fucking gross. I'm telling you. Don't even try it. Stick to your fucking Big Macs and fucking... What is it at Wendy's there for a fucking dollar seventy? Get a fucking hamburger for a dollar seventy? You're going to die, bro. It's going to kill you. Anyways... Sorry if today was uh, boring for you guys, Arts and Crafts Day, but that's where I'm at. That's what I'm doing. Whatever I do, I film it, and that's where we're at. Um, we're going to be going home soon. I feel like I'm running out of shit to, to say to you guys, but we're going to go home soon. When I run out of booze, I'm going I'm to want to go home. <laughs> Tomorrow, we don't have to check snares. We do, however, have to start collecting snow for water. We're out of water. Maybe uh, maybe we'll do some fishing. Pitch glue. We're making pitch glue again tomorrow. So, if you haven't watched all of the episodes, you're in for a little treat. We're going to make pitch glue. If you watched all the episodes, you're in for a fucking repeat. We're making pitch glue. Um... Like I said, tomorrow morning we should be uh, burning the last two letters in that walking stick and we'll be done with that. And then we can jump on that Cooksa. Maybe that'll be for... Who's next? Emma. Emma's in March. So if the Cooksa works out, Emma, you're getting a fucking Cooksa. All right, I'm rambling. Those are deuces. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Watch the other fucking 25 episodes. 24? I don't know. Like those. Please subscribe to the page. Subscribe to the page. And comment. Let me know. Let me know if you think I'm an idiot. Let me know if you think I'm awesome. Mostly if you think I'm awesome. If you think I'm an idiot, I'll probably just delete you and block you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a wrap. Deuces.